Now, without getting into a year-on-year -year comparison, because that would be unfair for us to compare, I want to understand the dynamics of the quarter gone by. Because the last quarter, Mr. Chetwal, was a very peculiar quarter, at least in our book. It started with a lot of promise, which captured the Diwali, the Shera and the holiday season. But just when things were looking up, the Omicron virus uh, hit us. Uh, so it's been a quarter of, I would say, both good and bad. Yes, thank you, Nikunj. Uh, uh, you're absolutely right on the uh, on the quarter being a bit peculiar, but it was still the most positive quarter of the seven quarters that have gone by for the industry, uh, the tourism industry in general, and hospitality in particular. Uh, what we have learned is after the first wave, it took almost six months in certain states and in other states, depending on the lockdowns and uh, the restrictions imposed, uh, even up to nine months for the industry to come back. Then came the devastation of the second wave, which was very, very strong. Uh, but the industry started bouncing back in three months. And then we were confronted with the third wave or the Omicron as of the 20th of December. But the effect on the cancellations and on the drop in business started subsiding as of 15th of Jan. And I would uh, say it could be fair uh, to estimate that the last one week has been positive for the business and the pickup is strong, especially the last two, three days. And this week is really critical because of the holiday uh, in the middle of the week, in the week gone by, so I think at the end of this week, we will know more if this trend continues. I personally remain very optimistic uh, that the trend will continue and the bounce back will be faster and the period would be shorter. The real bounce back, Mr. Chetwal, will happen when the business travel will normalize. Leisure travel had picked up. And we can uh, experience that as well. We can see that as well. And we can feel that as well. But the bulk part of any hotel chain is when the business travel will uh, come back. Has that started coming back? Absolutely. It, it did start coming back uh, at, at a different segment level. I would say it has not started coming back uh, at luxury level or at upper upscale level to the extent that we would have liked to have it especially in the two key uh, metros, uh, that is Delhi NCR and Mumbai. They are the engines of uh, business for our sector. Um, and they are very important and they definitely rely more on business uh, than on, on leisure. However, having said that, there is a certain segment that is emerging, even in leisure, in which people are combining the business and leisure trip. The, the term leisure was coined maybe like 5, 10, 15 years ago, but the real impact of leisure has been witnessed in the last couple of years. So if people are going to a leisure destination and are combining business because the work from home is on, I don't think you, you can 100% classify that as leisure travel only. So having said that, I think the business is beginning to come back. People feel the need of building new relationships. Uh, that is important for the business. And I think work from home has also set in a certain form of fatigue. Uh, and there will be a, a good balance that we will see emerging over the next uh, six to eight weeks in which people will first start combining work from home and business in person, followed by hopefully things getting back to uh, the way they were in a pre-pandemic uh, period. Mr. Chatwal, is Indian hotels on the path of better profitability and more returns? And let me just uh, expand on my question for the benefit of our viewers. Your business is almost back to pre-COVID levels, but your operating costs are 20% lower, overheads are down 23% lower. Uh, so is this the new normal that when things will normalize, hopefully which they are in this quarter if nothing negative happens, your overheads will settle at least 15-17% lower than your pre-COVID levels? Absolutely right, uh, Nikunj. That is in line with the guidance that we have provided. But it is not just the level in absolute terms of fixed costs. 
with the kind of growth journey we have embarked upon, the productivity is also important and is an important element going forward. So if we were to take our fixed cost per hotel in operation or fixed cost on the total in portfolio, including the hotels in the pipeline, if we were to take those fixed costs and some, uh, some portion of it was to be allocated to our new businesses, I think the, the pandemic for the industry globally has been good in reviewing the cost structure and, and how you could do uh, almost similar amount of things and become a more efficient industry. It's not about Indian hotels. I think it's almost every player in this industry has been able to readjust their cost base, both on the fixed cost level as well as on the variable cost level. चलिए बिल्कुल तो किस तरह से पिछले तीन महीने में जो बिजनेस है वो इम्प्रूव हुआ इस पर बात करते हुए रिजल्ट्स के बाद अपना रिएक्शन देते हुए इंडियन होटल्स के पुनीत छटवाल ने कुंज से बात कर रहे थे आप चलिए एक और बिग वॉइस